Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, well, we're going to leave Earth in this episode. Um, obviously, Black Mesa, you know, Crowbar Collective. <laughs> I downloaded Black Mesa Blue Shift, played through the first few parts of Duty Calls. I'm going to make a video uh, when I finish this Black Mesa playthrough of me doing, you know, Black Mesa Blue Shift. It's really good because of how it... It's really good because of how it uses um, a fair amount of Blue Shift geometry, Half-Life Blue Shift geometry, um, and how it expands on characters and is really funny in some ways. But anyway, I need to. I'm, I'm probably going to have to re murder that Gargantua because I decided to see what happens when I fire way too much with the mortar cannon and I crashed the game. Very good idea. It was hilarious, I'll tell you that. So I'm glad I got to experiment with it by just you know, firing a lot. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh. He died. Alright, so... Right here. Fire. I need to blow that door up or something. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it works normally. Alright. I just need to be able to see it on the map. It's really cool how it works, though. Welcome to the finale, boys. So, anyway, I guess I'm done with uh, surface tension, finally. I just had to reopen the door. I didn't actually know that I had to um, just turn that valve wheel. I forgot about that. I thought I had to blow the door up. Alright, run. Wreckage, wreckage, wreckage. Made it. Oh shit. Not only are we way behind enemy lines, we just missed the last flight out of here. I sure hope shit. we brought some backup points extra. Because we're gonna need it. <laughs> Einstein. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, don't fucking get out of the don't get out of here. Yeah, let's go. 
Alright, here. Right here. This is as far as I go. Good. Alright, now you're gonna wanna Alright, run back inside. Close the door. Turn the turret on. What's that guy doing? What's that turret shooting at? Maybe if I hide? Any idea of how many of our crew have died? This is creepy as fuck. Alright, this doesn't seem to be working. Never mind, it worked just fine. Wow, so, yeah, normally you're gonna have to be careful because there are, yeah. Also, I really like this chapter in this game. Also, get with me, boy. You guys are going to love Zen. Just did. Sorry, just looking for supplies. Maybe it's in one of these crates. Alright, there's a battery. Ra radiation stuff. Alright. Alright. I think I'm gonna find another way out that doesn't involve swimming through shit and lakes. But thank you. Alright guys, little bitch. We're gonna look for more supplies on this side. No, we're not. So apparently leeches don't exist in this game, or at least I don't know if they do, because I've never seen one in this Black Mesa game. Uh, where is... Uh, Alright, I'm going the right way. Oh! Fuck, that's worse than leeches! Ah! I didn't even know that guy was there. Alright. Huh, this stuff doesn't burn. Well, not really. At any rate.
All right, guys, here we go. This is my favorite moment in the entire fucking game. Ugh. I'm gonna turn my mic off just to take in how great this part is. And for you guys. That was fun. But also, kind of bittersweet. The song just sounds really sad for some reason. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when a song is, like, really awesome and epic and happy, but for some reason you can't explain why, it just kind of sounds... Oh, my... You ruined the moment, Marines. Thanks. For dying so easily. But yeah, that moment in Black Mesa just... Wow. I remember how much I liked it on my first playthrough. Even on my, like, 9 trillion playthrough, it's still just the best.
Like, wow, it's kind of why I kind of prefer Black Mesa to Half-Life. Like, don't even... I love the fucking Tau Cannon so much. Alright, yeah, I have to... Oh, I don't have to... Never mind. Oh, shit, man. Oh, it's warfare. Yes, my Marines. Fight, fight. Get him. Get him. You have to get that reference. Please get that reference. Otherwise, I don't like you on my channel. Obviously, that's kind of a joke, but I mean... It's... Oh, shit. Sadly, our Marines aren't doing as well as I am. Where? Oh, shit. Oh, God. That was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Like, wow. Alright, so let these guys just fight it out. Don't worry. Obviously, another... Just gotta, just gotta remake that joke because of how, you know, awesome the reference is. Get him! Get him! <laughs> I got some... Oh. Go, my boys! Uh oh. Okay, I need to see where I'm going. All right, buddy. Come on. Alright, there we go. I'm fine. All good, man. Where is it? Uh, where's the next place? Oh, there it is. One of these is where I go. Right here. Okay. Well, that was Forget About Freeman, everybody. Probably my favorite chapter in Black Mesa. Just because of the music and the the moment where you're fighting those Marines. And all of that friendly fire between Marines and aliens. That's a fucking great part of it. Although you can get that in surface tension just as easily, but not epic Marine fighting moments like that one. Surface tension has moments that are like that, but not that. Wow. Almost makes you want to cry. Welcome, everybody, to Lambda Core. Remember how I said we're leaving Earth this episode? Well, boy, I was right. Fuck you, Earth.
this soundtrack is really good too. That was a TNT snapper. Something about the Spanish subtitling is funny. It just says like Muerte de Bolsquid. What happened? I can't see. Hold on. Alright, so another... Hey guys. Have some grenades. They're free. Have some uranium. Have a rocket. It seems the rocket was the only offer they really wanted to take. So I gave them that offer. Oh god, the next part is hard. We have to fight more of those, uh, grunt- hey, Black Ops assassins. Or, as some people call them, female Black Ops. Something about that just sounds kind of weird. Like... I don't know. Black Ops Assassins also kind of sounds cooler. I mean, yeah, I know why the female are all the uh, Black Ops. Because they're supposed to, like, be able to r r be really nimble. Not like a man. Alright. Anyway. All right, now they know that I'm here. Where the fuck are the assassins? I heard that. They're here, they're here, they're here. Alright.
Oh, I caught her. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get back here. Oh, I killed both of them. Did I? Nope, that's not an assassin corpse. Oh! Never do I remember being this good at killing uh, the assassins. Like, I, I honestly am surprised that I was able to do that. So, this was not the insanely hard part that I was about to tell you guys about. Uh, this part is hard, yes, but... Not insanely hard. One of these doors I can go through. This one. And I have a few more assassins to take out, I believe. Unless they were the other assassins that I killed! All of them are still... See? See, I'm a better sniper with a pistol than you are. Or, I guess sharpshooter would be the word. See, I can be like you guys. Oh, I can't destroy that even though it's making destroyable box sounds. I probably missed one, probably didn't. Whatever, bye. Anyway. Yeah, I, I killed those assassins surprisingly easily. Here is the really hard part I was telling you guys about. Um, in this part, you have to kill, like, five alien grunts and, like, seven vortigons or something. I, I don't know, but you have to do a bunch of stuff that's, like, harder than it should be. Use these barrels. You can probably, like, trick enemies into going near them and then blow them up. Oh my god. I panicked. I thought I had the upper hand. No. Alright, there we go. Alright, back to lights off, because that looked weird. So yeah, that's uh, that's what this section is like. As you can see, I came in with basically 100% on everything. I had 100% health and like 97% suit battery, and I exited with like less than half of what I started with. It can really be difficult, and I tried to, like, trick them into something by using those barrels or whatever, but no, I got fucked.
So luckily, this is the part where we... I apologize, Dr. Freeman, but I'm sure you understand Good. that I couldn't risk opening that door until you had scoured the area. Maybe this guy has supplies. Whatever. Alright. Yeah. The government is probably gonna kill me as soon as they find me. Good thing I'm going to another planet to hide from the government. This is how you skip taxes, people. What if this was like a secret setup so that Gordon could skip taxes, like... Were you in weapons research too? Yeah. I built the glue on no, actually. Oh! I always like doing that, but I kind of feel bad, so, no. Anyway, now that we have the glue-on gun, we are officially fully decked out on our stuff. Oh, God, it, it just occurred to me that we're going to have to do Zen. Zen is really long, but really fun. Oh, I missed a spot. I like using the gluon gun. Oh, no, never mind. I accidentally swapped to the other gun. Anyway, let's turn on uh, Tank and Pump O2. Anyway, this weapon is insanely powerful. It's like a suppressor's weapon. Like... The TF2 Heavy would use this weapon. It only takes a very tiny shot in order to kill something with it. It's like the Tau Cannon, but like, deadlier. Don't overuse the ammo. What teleported, and where did it teleport? I really should not have used the gluon gun on that barnacle. I made a stupid idea. That- alright. Please, uh, if you're watching this, 
Don't use the gluon gun on barnacles. It's kind of stupid. can't see. Oh, there. Now I can see. Alright, just looking for flip switches to switch. These elevators are insanely slow, but really kind of cool looking. I don't know why. I really like elevators in the Source Engine. You're gonna wanna kill them. Oh my god. What do I have to do to turn it on? Do I have to go back down or do I have to sing a cool song? Nice ladder jump. Do I have to summon Bill Cipher? Is he gonna turn it on for me? Actually, I I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Cipher did the exact opposite of that and like ended up causing the Resonance Cascade. Or maybe he's like... Maybe he's a Zenian life form that was conquered by the Combine and that's why he wants to take over um, Earth as another dimension. So that he can finally live and prosper. I, I don't know, I guess... What are your thoughts on the Gravity Falls lore and Half-Life lore? Do they intercede? Intersect? Alright. Alright, we got the pump station O2 on.
we don't have to go back there again, so why kill those Vortigaunts? Alright, Tank and Pumpo 2 are on. Sorry, I thought I heard an alien grunt, so I charged up Big Daddy. That's what I call the Tau Cannon. And you cannot call it anything other than Big Daddy from now on, you understand? Thank you. Hold on. To pull up my socks like that. Oh, come on. I'm still alive in a way. This game is hard, guys. Uh oh, Vortiguance. All right, reload, Doctor. Where is it? Here's a little trick. It's called the you can't hit me because my hitbox is better than yours trick. It didn't actually have a name, but I wanted to create a name to make it sound cooler. Uh oh Who said that? Oh, thank God there's water. All right, that was good. I like how it continues playing the sound even after I've killed him. Anyway. That'll do. That was a blind shot, but luckily not a missed one. Ah! Oh wait, no, I have to turn the...
Alright, I did it. I turned the funny scientific controls on. Ah! I could have landed on my ass and then, like, no amount of downward doggy uh, Yoda yoga could fix that. Why didn't you die the first several times I shot you? Persevering bitch. Alright, yeah. Alright, this way I don't need health and ammo. How? No. Die. Oh, thank God. Open up, open up, run, 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 run. Fucking Christ. I'm all good, guys. Let's go to maintenance station first. I'm gonna run out of health and die if I don't. Fuck yeah, I mean, you got one. Let's go. Here it is. Got you. Just gotta get some health, otherwise I'm dead. I didn't even know this was in the level. Probably because I usually don't fuck up that bad. Come on, have supplies. Have supplies. That was not supplies! Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's go for it. Come with me. There, he says. I don't need batteries. I need health. Ah. Watch it, buddy. Sorry. All right. Buddy, become strong. Alright, we're, we're just going to skip this fight and... We made it! So I don't know who voiced uh, the Barneys in this game, but they did a great I but they did a great job. All I know is that it wasn't Mike Shapiro.
Now I have more 360 ammo, so that's good. How'd that guy survive a double shotgun blast? Sometimes they don't even survive a single shotgun blast. Alright, guys. We have to turn some stuff on. Oh! Here we go. Time to flood the core. It's the little dents in the ground that tell you where to not be. Ah! God. We made it. We made it. We're inside. Sadly, the Vorts didn't want us to, so, yeah. Open this door and enter the next loading zone. Got you, bro. Here we go. Check your ammo, Doc. Um, we're done when I say we're done. Jesus Christ. Never mind all that. All right. I think it's two. Yes, two.
four. And then seven. Here we go, we're alive. This chapter is really fun, by the way. I, I like it at least. Yay, you can teleport grenades through. Aw, oh, that's cool. We'll just skip that. Hunter? Wave our errant knight in shining high impact reactive armor. Yes, not. All right then. This way, Dr. Raymond. You're not scared, are you? What you nah. have for you is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world. Brought back this way. <laughs> but you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, well, let's put it this way. There ain't gonna be much for you to come home. Yes. So if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. Dr. Steinman will open the gates for you. And don't let him crash and right. We've all been a wee bit wrangled since the incident. So, you're actually gonna go through with this, huh? You're braver than you look. Thanks. Hold on. Wow. Dr. Freeman, so glad you made it. So glad you made it. This is the long jump module. I created it expressly for navigation of the world beyond. Oh, yeah. Seven. 
So, they changed the controls so that long jump is now easy to use. Thank God. Uh... Here we go, the final stand, boys. Hello, Freeman. I'm up here. Practice your long jump. Where are you? Got you, bro. Also, they patched the, you know, the glitch. Handle it, Doc. Alien controllers, guys. All right, guys. Ah! Oh my God! We've got the breach. Here we go, guys. Guys, we're so close.
We made it. Thank you. Well, that was Black Mesa. We'll be continuing it on Zen.